Mommy and Daddy know best. Or maybe they just think they do. We've heard it, um, we've heard it several times, um, overused phrases um, that parents use. Uh, I'm sure you heard it, and if not, you're gonna hear it. How about the phrase, because I said so? Yeah, that's like their explanation because they don't have an explanation. That's their way pretty much of saying, um, you do what I say. And there's really no way around it, because they said so. Of course, when we're little, we always do it they want us to do. And then as we get older, we ask, but why? But why? And then the, then the new explanation is, because I'm the parent. Because, because I paid the bills. Because I put the clothes on your back. Because I put the food on your plate. Because I'm the king. Because I'm the king. Too bad this is democracy and I live on free soil. No, that's not true. I mean, technically, yeah, we live on free soil. But you live under their roof, and you're technically still not free. How about the phrase, when I was younger, yeah, we've all heard it. My parents always tell me my generation is so lucky, because back then, when they had to go research something, they had to go to the library and look up something, and go look it up. Um, versus now, um, all we have to do is go to Google, type in the keywords, and there, several choices. You don't even have to go to the library to go read a book anymore. You can search it up on Google. So, my parents are always telling me to take advantage of it because they didn't have it back then. When they end up telling stories about when they were younger, it ends up being a life lesson. A lecture, a speech. Then you hear it, then you hear it again, and then you hear it again, and you get to give it. Or also the phrase that, you're my baby and I can't let you go. So they hold you and they caress you. They hold on to you as long as they can, but they end up choking you instead. And then when they finally let you let go, you're crippled because they, they hold on to them. Being a bird isn't really that all all that easy. I mean, you might think some people might think it is because they're like, oh, when I become a parent, it be I won't do this, I won't do that. Um, yeah, um, being a parent is hard, so I give props to my parents. My grandparents and all the parents out there, um, because raising our generation, ooh, that's wild. Um, when I, when I become a parent, I wouldn't want to adopt. I would want to have my own kid, my own flesh and blood. But <laughs> can you see me, a little me, running around everywhere? Oh man, that's crazy. But when it comes, maybe I would want kids. Maybe that's a big maybe because I have four younger siblings and they give me nightmares, and I wouldn't want to have kids like that. That's just that's scary. Oh, that's really scary. Um, oh, oh, also I would like to thank Alex Phelps for um, giving me a dose of that Tony Awards thing. Even though I never remember it. But thank you for giving me a dose of that. One awards I did watch was the MTV Movie Awards. And boy, did that piss me off. Um, Twilight, Twilight, the Twilight Saga, New Moon won everything. And I don't believe they deserved all that award. They definitely did not deserve the Best Movie of the Year award. Um, Robert Pattinson definitely did not deserve the Best Male Actor award either. Um, his character in New Moon was barely even there, and Taylor Lautner should have received that award. Um, plus, he's hotter. We all know it. Well, we all know. It. I was shocked that Amanda Seinfeld won the Scared Out of Award um, in Jennifer's Body. So I had to go watch it myself just to see it, and she actually did a pretty good job. You actually didn't think she would have done a good job because after watching Dear John, didn't think she could act like that, but she did. So I'm very proud of her. And the movie is good. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, I would also like to greet Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Happy Father's Day to my grandpa and my other grandpa. Um, I love you guys and. 
Um, if you have a father, make sure you do something special for him this Father's Day. Um, say you love him. Have a good one.